Can you help me? Sure. What do you want? Uh, where is 83 Wooster Street? That's easy. Walk to the corner, yeah. then make a left turn, then walk two blocks to the traffic light, make another left to Wooster. Thank you. To the corner, and then a left. Yeah, a left. Hot dog? Only 75 cents? No, thank you. I have a dinner date. Ah. <laughs> uh. Five, nine, four, seven, no. And it's busy. Yeah. Again. Five, 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 nine, four, seven, no. And it's still busy. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for 83 Wooster Street. Yes. Wooster Street is two blocks, and 83 is to the right. Um, about two houses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this Susan? Yes, it is. Come up. I'm on the top floor. Hello, Harry. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Susan. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. The uh, traffic, the parking... I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> what pretty flowers. Thank you. Oh, please, come in. Uh. Don't worry about being late. It's fine. Uh, excuse the mess. I just moved here. Oh, I'd like you to meet my sister-in-law, Marilyn. Marilyn Stewart, this is Harry Bennett. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, Harry. Are we too late for our dinner reservation? No, the restaurant will hold our table. I know the owner very well. I eat there a lot. Do you know the phone number of the restaurant? I'd uh, like to call home and leave the number with the babysitter. Well, sure. Uh, the number is 555-1720. May I use the phone? Five 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 one seven two zero. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hi, Michelle. It's Daddy. Can I speak to Betty? I want to leave the phone number of the restaurant. Hi, Betty. I'll be at five 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 seventeen twenty. Okay, thanks. See you later. Well, that's done. Shall we go? I'm ready. <laughs> see you later, Marilyn. Have a nice evening. Bye, Marilyn. Hope to see you again. Me too. Have fun. <laughs> thanks. After you. <laughs> Miss Stewart, welcome. How are you? Fine, Sumsack. And you? Fine, thank you. This is my friend, Harry Bennett. Pleased to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Any friend of Miss Stewart's is welcome at Sumsack's. Follow me, please. I like it. I do, too. I come here often. 
special place for special people. Thank you, something. Well, <laughs> nice restaurant. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I'd like a glass of ginger ale with ice. Harry, what would you like? Do you have a dry white wine? How about a California Chablis? Chablis is fine. What would you like to eat? I'd like the meat crop. <laughs> Harry, would you like to see a menu? No, it's okay. I'll have the uh, meat crop also. What is it? <laughs> Crispy fried noodles. Oh. I love them. <laughs> May I bring you a salad? Oh, yes. What do you recommend today? I recommend rose petal salad, special for new friends. Rose petal salad? Why not? <laughs> I'll take care of everything. I hope you're hungry. What? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> well, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you do at Universe Toy Company? I'm the vice president of New Toy Development. Terrific. I know you're a CPA. <laughs> That's true. Harry Bennett, certified public accountant. <laughs> I love numbers. I do some work for Smith & Dale, your company's accounting firm. And so? Here we are. Yes. I have a daughter. I know. How old is she? She's nine years old. That's a nice age. What's her name? Michelle. Do you have a picture of her? <clears throat> She's very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Rose petal salad. And there's a phone call for you, Mr. Bennett. Excuse me. I hope nothing is wrong. I'll get the rest of the dinner. Excuse me. Please forgive me, Susan, but I have to leave. I feel terrible, but... What's the matter? My daughter isn't feeling well. Oh, no. Is it serious? I don't know. The uh, babysitter says she has a stomach ache and she's crying. I'll have to go home. Forgive me? Of course. I'm so sorry for Michelle. <laughs> and you didn't have a chance to eat. Well, it's okay. Uh, let me take you home first. No, no. Please, go ahead. It's our first date. <laughs> we'll make another. Please don't worry. I'll phone you. I hope your daughter is all right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. What happened? The babysitter called? His daughter is sick. What's wrong? I think she has a stomach ache. Oh. He's a good father. So? What do you think of him? He's very nice. But I think he was nervous tonight. It was his first date in two years. Will you see him again? I hope so. This food is delicious. <laughs> he didn't get a thing to eat. You ordered enough for three or four people. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining. The food is delicious. Who is that? Do you think it's... No. <laughs> You won't believe it, Marilyn. I believe it, even without looking. Hi. 
out. Your downstairs neighbor let me in. Did you go home? I did, but everything is okay, so I decided to come back. I, uh, to apologize for leaving so early. I brought you a little gift. It's a bonsai tree for your new apartment. Hi, Marilyn. I, I hope it's not too late. Oh, not at all. We're still eating. Please, come in. Join us. It's our meal from the restaurant. Oh. <laughs> and how is your daughter? Oh, she's fine. It was only a tummy ache. <gasps> it's good that you went back. Yes, I, uh, I think it's important for me to be there since her mother died. I agree. Aren't you hungry? As a matter of fact, I am hungry. <laughs> There's lots of food left. Mmm, this is delicious. Enjoy. I'm going to excuse myself. I have a lot of work to do to get ready for tomorrow. Good night, Harry. It was nice meeting you. Bye, Marilyn. Good night, Susan. Good night, Marilyn. She's going to a fashion show here in the city tomorrow. She's sleeping here, so she won't have to travel from Riverdale in the morning. You two must be close. We are. I the whole Stewart family is close. I like that. <laughs> and then, two years ago, my wife died. You miss her. I do, yes, but I have Michelle, and with time. Is there anyone else in your life? No, not yet. What about you? Oh, I date occasionally, but my work keeps me busy. Ooh, speaking of keeping busy, I have an early start tomorrow, and the babysitter has to get home. Oh, where did the time go? It's midnight. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. I had a nice evening. Me too, Harry. Harry. Yes? I'd like to meet your daughter someday. Uh, uh, does that mean that I can see you again? <laughs> Of course. Wonderful. I'll call you and we'll go out to dinner. Please do. I promise I won't leave early. It was for a good reason. <laughs> you know something? What? I think we're going to be good friends. Good night, Susan. Good night, Harry. Have a safe trip home. Are you all right? Sorry. I never liked that umbrella stand. <laughs> Good night, Harry. 